Hey Taurus, this will be you guys reading from January the 2nd through January the 8th, right? I'm hearing some of you guys are stressed out or you feel like stressed over a situation. This could be a situation that you are having with your partner. Yeah, this is a situation that you are having with the person who you are talking to. You could be feeling annoyed by this person um, during this time or this person will be feeling annoyed by you. You are going to feel like your feelings aren't being um, taken serious. Something about your feelings not being um, completely taken serious by your partner. This could be somebody that you guys are married to with this um heart to heart in reverse I'm going to actually take it in the reverse because I feel like whoever you are talking to I feel like this person it's like either they're tired of what is going on you are tired of what's going on but during this during the week um that this reading is for do keep in mind that you know this can res resonate anytime too but for the most part um you guys aren't going to feel hurt by this person. You're going to feel worried that you guys um, are going to separate or you need to separate. You are definitely going to pay attention to the fact that you don't feel hurt, right? Some of you, you feel like this person is leaving you more, like leading you on or lead, like leading you on or leaving you, right? Then we got, you know... <laughs> you deserve love and also love yourself first. So for some of you, you may need to just take a step back from whoever this person is or they're going to decide to take a step back from you. Could definitely be because um, you guys are having issues or some type of issues or something like that. I'm getting the more you, you push, the more they pull will pull away. So definitely do watch that, Taurus, if you guys are dealing with someone that you possibly are having an issue with. Um, you want this person to say something, something you want to be shown. And look, you guys, pay attention to the red flag. So pay attention to this, how the per this person is treating you during this time. Pay attention to what they're not saying. Pay attention to what they are saying. This person may not be a part of your spiritual path. And this is somebody that you are very serious about. This is somebody that you are very committed to or you are actually married. Um, actually really like could be possibly married to this person. Pay attention to... Like this person's focus can be on something else and you guys just need to pay attention to that. Yeah, their focus is on something else. And for some of you, you do not need to wait for this person. Yeah, you need to free yourself from this person because they just may not be the person for you. And that's okay, Taurus. Okay, so for some of you, this is just going to be the energy during this week. But, yeah, you guys are married to this person, fully committed to them. Um, this is just going to be the energy during this week. But as you stop pushing, your person will come back, right? Right? And I feel like this is going to be towards the 6th, the 7th, or the 9th. This is when this person will come back because you have stopped um, pushing, all right? You have stopped being so pushy. You know, the bulls, you know, we like things how we like them. And you guys may be really pushy with your person during this time, right? Um You don't have a specific reason for this, though. So. Like, I feel like every tour has got their own little reason, but it's not like they're not paying you attention. Like, whatever you want them to talk about, they're not paying that attention. 
some of you are bringing up screenshots or you will be bringing up screenshots of like something you've seen, something of the past or something like that. You guys could be worried that this person is losing interest in you, that their their um their attention is going elsewhere. I'm not here to say if it is or it isn't. I don't really feel any energy behind that. But what I do feel is that during this week, for the next few days, you aren't going to feel heard by your person. Your job is to remain calm because this energy is going to play out. Um, what you are asking this person, what you want them to show, they're not going to do it. And as you pull, pull them, they will push you away. But once you stop, this person will eventually return because there is a deep bond here or there is a marriage in place or something like that. I don't see children, but there is something in place to where you guys will continue to talk. But during this time, you are definitely going to struggle with um, a person that you are talking to and just feeling like you're not being heard and um, their focus is elsewhere. So whatever this person's focus is on, that is what your focus is on. So you're like, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? Where you been? Like things like that. So try to really calm down, right? Um, try to do something with that time, right? So you will not disturb this person. If they are doing anything, just let the energy play out how it's supposed to play out. And eventually this person will come back when by the time this person comes back you will be in a much better energy. Like you will be open to talking. You will be open to this person coming back. For some of you, you may hold some resentment towards this person just off the strength of how they treated you during this week. So you may still like hold resentment towards them. Yeah, forgiving and learning. So this situation was supposed to teach the both of you, right? Your person may have a problem where they shut down, don't want to talk about nothing. You may have a problem where you push because you have to get it your way. You you have to feel heard. And with this, you guys have been brought together to learn. This person needs to learn to talk. You need to learn to calm down. Do not be too pushy. And also do not be so codependent on them. Right? So that is you guys reading. I hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time. Hey Virgos, so this will be you guys reading from January the 2nd through the 8th. I don't know why I feel happy when I just got on you guys reading, but maybe you guys will be happy about something. You guys are celebrating, um, someone could be getting married, somebody in your family could be coming home. Your finances may be improving. Some of you guys have a new lover, the wait is over, right? Some of you guys have manifested your new lover. You have a new lover here or your relationship has went through a transformation. There was some cutouts. Yeah, you guys went through a transformation. There was definitely some cutouts. Something was cut off. So you could have started to release people, especially due to the fact that it's the whole new year, new year, new me thing going on. Um... You guys can definitely be in this energy where you are just like, okay, certain people do not um, resonate with me anymore. I'm releasing them. I'm letting them go. And by doing this, by doing this cutoff, you guys are welcoming in new love. Um, I do see some of your exes will start to be attracted to you. Um, and you may have to stay away from them because they are going to be like trying to expose how they feel about you while you are already talking to someone else 
um this is the whole wait a minute you know i still love you um i always loved you hey virgo come back can it be a us you guys found somebody that you may want to really get serious with you're very happy about this person you guys could have known them for two weeks or two days i'm I'm just hearing the number two, but I'm feeling like this is the amount of time that you that you've been talking to them. You love like you may love them, right? It doesn't matter if it's a short period of time, but I don't feel like you are in love with them. I feel like you love that this is that this is definitely that that boost that change, right? Um, with somebody that you was with, the ex, the ex could have been toxic. This could have been somebody that you was married to. And you just felt like this person was like a burden. They were more like a dark cloud in your life. And now you are getting this this bundle of joy and sunshine and things like that with this new person. And you could feel like things are kind of moving too quick. And some of you may second guess it. Do what you will with this. Like go forward move backwards whatever you will with it but make sure you do what makes you happy and what's going to keep you happy um moving forward right um do not accept someone back in your life just because they say they have changed you gotta you have to you have to like make these people show you that they've changed because i definitely see an ex trying to come back but and it could be somebody that you guys are married to but it's because you have someone new here right this person could be somebody that's younger than you but i just feel like you this person makes you feel alive they make you feel young they make you feel very youthful right you guys are just happy but then here comes that ex this is from somebody from your past. Like the ex is like, no, I don't want to separate from you, Virgo. What are you doing? And you love whoever this person is. This is the person who, you know, um, can call you up and you're you're running for this person. This person is no joke. Like this is that person who, you know, we all have that person who can come around and kind of make us do something we said we wouldn't do somebody that crosses our boundaries right so this person i feel for you is that person that cross your boundaries like don't call me a certain time we're not together no more this person will pop up at your house like they don't respect boundaries and they can feel that you are trying to release them this person may not want a divorce but they can feel like you are trying to release them and with them feeling that energy this is what is going to make them crave you more, Vir Virgos. So be very careful because I do not feel like this is a situation where it's like you have two quality people here. You have one quality, one history. And the one that you have the history, history with, keep in mind why you left this person alone or why they left you alone, right? Whoever this ex is, this is something they keep reincurring. And they only want you because they feel like you are slipping away. They feel like there's competition and they can definitely feel the energy. So, so be sure to stay safe because this person is going to call you back in. Where's my Virgo at? You know, what, what is my Virgo doing? My Virgo is trying to move on, right? I don't want to let like you're going to have calling in your soulmate and this could be the one like you're going to think about is is your ex the one you know some of you you may end up sleeping around with this ex right but you know that they're not the one for you but it's going to complicate your 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 situation you're going to go from thinking the new person is the one who you have been looking for to thinking maybe things are moving too fast for me but this is what your ex wants you to do. Your ex wants to kind of ruin it for you. So do not allow your ex to ruin it for you. Okay, Virgos? This is you guys reading. I hope you guys enjoy it until next time. Hey, Capricorns. So this will be you guys reading from January the 2nd through the 8th. So we already have pay attention to the red flags coming out. Um... 
it could be something that you guys are signing that you need to pay attention to. A lover may be trying to get you to sign over some type of will, um, some type of documents. Pay attention. Pay attention to the fine print of something that you guys are, are signing, some type of deals that you guys are taking. Pay attention to the... Um, and happy birthday, by the way, you guys. But pay attention to... Pay attention to the details, right? Make sure you guys definitely pay attention to details. Don't be afraid to ask your friends to help you. Like, ask your friends to read over the contract with you. Ask them if they know anybody that does this type of work that can read over your contracts or... If this is a relationship or something that you guys are in, whatever this is, you trust whoever this is or whatever this is. But it's something about the situation that you cannot trust. Even if this is a lover, I feel like you cannot trust all the details with this person. This person may be wearing a false mask or, or, or something in that nature. And you are kind of being a little bit delusional when it comes to them. I feel like whoever... Um, this one friend is it could be one or two friends that know this person a little bit better than you but this person isn't telling you how they actually know this person so that can be the de details that you are missing but most of the information they give on this person is the truth so your friends can be like they they're not going to come out and say well i'm not going to tell you everything because they will just sound like they're hiding something, right? So what this person is probably going to tell you is, yeah, I don't, are you sure? Are you sure you want to date him or her? They may question it and you may question them like, what do you mean am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. And they're like, wait a minute, Capricorn. You do not know them like that. You don't know everything about this person. You don't know. Some of y'all may be talking to a Virgo for some reason. But they're like, wait a minute, I know I know their real situation. Like, I know this person's background. Like, I know this person's real situation. They feel like you need to, for some of them, they could have talked to them or it was a fling that went on. So they're feeling like you need to kind of stay away from this person. Like, you are being too delusional over them. You are lusting over this person. Or, or Capricorns, this is how the someone is going to be over you lusting over you but your your friends capricorns are going to warn you about this person they're like this person gets around for some of y'all your friends are going to be telling you how this person like get around and not who you think they are like some of you finances and career like i said Somebody is going to try to probably get you to sign something, someone that you cannot trust. It could be a will or something like that. Like, so be careful if somebody you just met is talking about let's marry or they had a baby by you or let's move in together, let's have children together or something like that. This person has um, hidden motives and this is what your friends are going to try to warn you of. This is what you need to watch out for. You guys can need to free yourself from this situation. This could be somebody that you like really want. Like you really want this to happen because for a lot of you, you have had um, a lot of disappointments in your love life and you are just ready to meet that person. But this may not be that person for you, right? You're tired of failed relationships. So this is, this is the person who you like, this has to be the one. This person can also be holding on to their past. So if you are talking to a Virgo, be sure to listen to Virgos because I don't know. I keep hearing Virgos, Aries. I haven't even got to Aries yet, but I'm hearing Virgo, Aries, and Aquarius that you guys may be talking to, right? Um. So yeah, during this week, just be careful because you can really be a little bit um, delusional over somebody. You don't know all the details about this person or the situation, and that's something that you really need to watch out for. All right, so 
that's what I got for you guys during this time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time. Hey, Aries. So this will be you guys reading from January the 2nd through the 8th. Let's see what we got for you guys. You guys have some type of surprise coming. I'm hearing that you guys are waiting for some jewelry. It's coming. You guys could have ordered some jewelry. Um, and you guys are waiting for your jewelry. Like you guys want to look nice, right? Um, so with this love yourself first, some of you, you need, with this love yourself first, you are trying to express love in the wrong way. Like that can be why you are waiting for jewelry, but I really feel like you guys are waiting for jewelry so you can look the part right um you want to look the part you may be going on um a little getaway with someone all right you could want to pay for something for someone this could be paying for their birthday trip or something like that is what i'm getting like you guys want to splurge a little bit but you don't got the money i feel like during this this week you won't have the money but you may not want to say that you don't have the money um and be careful because i'm hearing that you guys are going to try to get the money at any at any means necessary which that is never a positive thing so be very careful about that be very mindful about that right This can be somebody that you want to impress. So it may not be jewelry that you are waiting for. It may be clothes that you are waiting for. You're waiting to impress, like impress somebody. Like you want this person to go crazy over you. You want this person to like you. If they know somebody that you used to know, you want this, this person's person to shut up. Like, I feel like uh, you guys can be dating a friend of a friend and you want this person to shut up. You don't want your, your, your history to get out, your truth to get out about, like, who you used to date, how you used to treat them and things like that. You also don't want, like, your pay rate to... to be exposed something to be exposed you guys are definitely dealing with somebody new this is definitely like a new um energy you're trying to impress this um person you want to take them to the nicest restaurants um you want to drive in the nicest cars for some of you you may go as far as to rent a car you know act like it's yours you whoever this person is you really want to press them like but while you are trying to make the effort while while you are trying to splurge and show this person that you got it um be careful because i'm seeing that for some of you the card may get declined um Something may happen to where you, you're you walking with this person and you see somebody and they're like, hey, when did you get this this car? What you been doing? And they kind of expose you, right? You guys are afraid of being exposed for being a fraud because you want to impress the girl or the guy. You, want, you don't want to be exposed for being a fraud. Or they don't want to be exposed. Somebody don't want to be exposed this week. So what's going to happen this week? You may, there may be limited um, communication due to the fact that somebody don't want to get caught. Pay attention. Pay attention to the fact that this person is saying like, are you, right? Um, pay attention to the fact of what this person is saying. For some of you, you're trying to please a gold digger, right? You're trying to please a user. You need to pay attention to that. And then look, I'm quite a love um, and free yourself. You need to free yourself from the need to, you need to free yourself 
from the need to try to oppress people. And this goes back to you having family issues. All right. Somewhere in your family, you felt like you weren't worthy. So what people like you tend to do is get a lot of jewelry, get a lot of shoes, act like you got a lot of money, right? So that others can see your value, but inside you don't feel too valuable, right? So be mindful of that and be careful with that. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I just see this week you guys are trying to impress someone that may not even want your money. For some, you got a gold digger. Be mindful if this person is like, I want this, this, and a third. Be mindful of that. If, if um, this person is like, you know, what are you doing? Like, I don't really need to go to places like this. Be mindful of that because... You are going to find out the type of person that you are dating or trying to date. And you are also going to find out things about yourself. Before this week is over, by the 7th, the 8th, or the 9th, this energy is going to play out and you will soon to feel low. Allow those emotions to, to come out, right? Do not try to stuff them back down when they come out because they need to come out you guys are going to have like a breakdown where you like because when I tell you whatever you are doing that is not authentic is about to be exposed so this is you trying to act like somebody else this is you trying to wear something and take it back whatever it is whatever you are doing to keep up your act it is about to be exposed so it's like, it, stop it before it gets exposed. But I'm seeing for a lot of you, it is about to be exposed that you don't got it like you say you got it. Or, or somebody, this person may not have it like they say they have it, right? So yeah, whatever it is, it's just about to be exposed. And that is what I'm seeing for you guys during this time. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading because I do really enjoy um, making these clips and I hope that they're as useful as I believe they are all right so if they are just give me a thumbs up let me know if it resonated with you guys and yeah until next time hey Leos so this will be you guys reading from January 2nd through the 8th let's see what we got for my Leos we getting straight to it so you guys are going to deal with the situation about the third or the fourth to where um, I'm getting you traveling. So you have a, a lover who lives far from you or at least 40 to about two hours from you, right? And you are going to travel to this person. I feel like you're mad about something. I feel like this person is in a joyful mood. For some of you, you guys are talking to a Cancer, um, a Pisces, um, a Gemini. I have not did their reading, but I, these can just be the signs that you guys are talking to. This is just the energy that I'm, I'm, I'm getting. Um, but I feel like they said something over the phone or this person is going to say something on the, over the phone and... They may even hang up in your face and think it's funny. I'm getting a lot of giggling, like a lot of laughing. They may be laughing with their friends and they're just like thinking it's funny, but you are going to think it is so serious. Whatever is being said over the phone, you think it is so serious and it could be like really serious. And it could be about something that you want, right? And... This person may take it as a joke, like, you like, no, I want to come see you, like, tomorrow, or I want to come see you this week, or something like that, and your person can just be like, mm, no, nah, it's not a good time, I really, I normally see my so-and-sos on certain days, like, they may joke about that, and then next thing you know, their phone is off, like, I, I'm getting, I'm getting strong energy behind you guys being extremely upset with whoever this person is, and it's because 
it was it started off as a joke honestly i'm getting it it just started off as, as a joke a joke that's you know to you it's not funny all right they may joke about wanting to sleep around be single or something like that and you're not going to take this joke like too funny you're going to just feel like okay buddy you're you're overdoing it or something like that like you're doing too much like you're going to feel like this person is definitely doing too much um i feel like you guys aren't going to be able to focus on what you really want to focus on which could be your career some of you are looking for another job um or something like that the energy is just not going to be there for you to be like be at work so you may really want to leave work when you like have this this conversation with this person right um, they are going to try to make it up, like apologize, but you're going to already be on your way. Like this is something you're going to feel like you cannot wait. Some of you may be having a child and that can be why you are feeling like this. Yeah, you, you're going to feel like you want to separate like but yeah you can be having a child by this person and this can be why you are so serious and they're not. It may be about the child. It may be, you know, I needed you to watch the baby because I have an interview or something. And they just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not about to watch the baby tomorrow. I already told you that. It's going to be something like that. But I, I really feel honestly this person is playing with you. But you're not going to, you're not going to care. You're not going to care. Like, you're not going to care. You're like, I'm, I'm sick and tired of you playing with me. And it could be over the children. You know, this is your baby father or baby mother saying, I will do it, and they don't do it. But I'm getting, you already knew how this person was, so do not feed so much into it. And I know that is so easy to be said, but so hard to be done, right? Because when you're in that moment, you don't think like, no, nah, I shouldn't say that. No, nah, I shouldn't do that, right? So I feel like in this moment, you guys are just going to be upset about that. Um, you need to trust that the situation is going to play out, right? This person is going to do what they say they're going to do. But I feel like this is going to happen through like the third, through the fifth. By the sixth. By the six, I feel like this person is going to apologize to you or something like that. You guys may go through a short breakup and it could be for about two days. So from whenever it happened, it's going to be for about two days. You're going to swear up and down you're done with them because you had to waste some type of money to get to them or something like that. But I do definitely see you guys coming back together. So I'm sorry that you are. Also, watch the spicy food, or you may want spicy food. Yeah, you're going to definitely come back together with this person. Like, I definitely see you guys coming back together, but you guys aren't staying optimistic about it because you may just feel like, hey, I'm done with it, right? But that is what I got for you guys during this time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time. Hey, Sagittarius. So, this is going to be you guys reading. Um, the second through the eighth of January, right? <clears throat> who, me? So, I'm hearing you guys saying who, me? Like, you guys are going to be feeling yourselves this week, right? You guys are looking good. You feel like you guys are looking scrumptious. Because <laughs> you guys are like, who? Who, me? Like, I get, like, the vibe that a lot of people are going to be complimenting you or, like, um, trying to talk to you or something like that. And you're just going to be, like, who, me? Like, you just look fine. Like, you guys are going to be flirting with people. You're going to feel really, really good, right, during this week. I feel like you guys are going to be feeling really good. You're going to be feeling really free. So, you guys are free from the situation that you are in. You're not tied down to nothing or nobody. You feeling yourself, right? You know that you deserve love, even though it's in the reverse. But you like, you're not really focused on love right now. 
you guys could have been married or you were in a very serious committed relationship but you guys are just ready to date this this week now this is the energy for this week you guys are just ready to date you guys are ready to get out there I feel like you will think about somebody, but you are going to have so many options, right? This can be somebody that you are spiritually, spiritually connected to, or there may be something different about the way you guys um, view religion or the way you guys view um, relationships, the values you guys have. But you don't want to talk about it anymore. I feel like you guys are uh, like over it. You feeling yourself. You you loving yourself. You ready to have some fun with somebody new. You ready to meet a new person. Go out on the town. Yeah, you guys want to be with someone, right? And you're not doing no talking. It's like whatever happens, happens. Like I can see you guys doing a lot of one night stands this week, right? Um, I'll get to know your name later, right? <laughs> yeah, you guys don't care. Like this is this is the week where you just like I don't care, and I feel like this is gonna go on for about four days. You guys aren't waiting to hear back from anybody. Um, far as work go, if you guys want to know about work, some of you do want to know about work. I do see work being regular as normal, showing up on time. You may actually be more happier when you are at work or something like that. Like People may notice uh, that you are in a good in a good mood like when you go to work you may just go to work do your job go home but you are going to talk more right um i just feel like your energy will be so welcoming that people are going to flock to you like birds <laughs> like birds to shit like people are going to literally flock to you and want to talk to you and I feel like for some of y'all, you guys are going to have, you guys are going to have, you want me having a thing going on. And these are different people, right? Jimmy may take you to the movies on Tuesday or freaking um, Thursday. Sean may take you on Friday somewhere, you know what I'm saying? By Sunday or something, you know? You may be with Don Julio. Like, you just don't know. Like, I feel like you guys are blowing. <laughs> I feel like you guys are blowing wherever the wind blows you. You guys can also be blowing. But I just feel like you are blowing wherever the wind blows you. You are. You could have recently went through a divorce. For some of you, you recently went through a divorce and you just like, you, nothing will tie you down. Nothing will pin you down. Nothing will get you down. And you are just feeling happy, right? I feel like you guys are going to definitely just be feeling happy. And you are going to enjoy all your options. And you guys have at least three to five different options on different days. And hey, you are single, you are mingling, and that is okay. So you guys are living a single life, and you guys are just like, hey, well, so and so said he wants, he or she wants to take me to breakfast. Cool, I'm gonna go to the movies with so and so later in the night. All right, I got another thing. I'm going with my cousins or something. Like you guys are keeping your schedule so busy, and whatever happens, happens, right? So I could definitely see you guys messing around with multiple people this week. And that is okay. Do your thing. Do your thing. Right? So that's what I got for you guys during this time. I hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time.